I'm a professor myself, and I have taught on the Reformation for many years now, and I've taught it both at the college level, at the master's level, and also at the PhD level. And I can say this from personal experience. With this book, The Reformation as Renewal, it will help your students in so many ways because so much of the material that I am giving in this, in this textbook is material that's come out of my own teaching experience as I've thought through what questions really do students have and more specifically, what questions really bother them? What questions keep them up at night that they need answered in order to better understand the Reformation and what it means to be Protestant in particular? I think you will find as you read this book that it's large for a reason because it not only covers each pocket of the Reformation, it not only explains the medieval context of the Reformation, but as you read through it, there will actually be sidebars, for example, that help your students understand not just the story, but as they are getting into some of the complicated theology and even some of the difficult nuances of the time period, they have sidebars to help them understand who these individuals are, what they taught, and how to place them in the context of their own century. That, I think, will go a long ways. One other thing that will help professors out there as they teach their students is the book itself actually builds one chapter to the next. And so as students read it, the further they read in the book, the more the story begins to develop. It not only brings a sense of excitement so that they want to get to the next chapter to know what happens next, but by the time they get to the end of the book, there's a sense of fulfillment so that they feel satisfied. The book itself doesn't exhaust the story of the Reformation, but it does give them a fulfilling sense that they actually now can dive into the 16th century themselves and further explore areas that I touched on just in a brief period, even a chapter. If you are a professor, I think that this book could actually be quite advantageous, not just to you, but to your students in particular. And there's several reasons for that. The first reason is, I know as a professor how difficult it is. You only have so much time so many class hours to actually give to your students a history of the Reformation, but you're not always able to give them the background that they need in the Middle Ages or even the Church Fathers. And so when your students begin to interact with the Reformers, they're a bit perplexed. Why is it that this Reformer, for example, is interacting or quoting or referencing certain councils or Church Fathers or certain individuals in the Middle Ages? My book will actually give you that background. In fact, the opening of the book spends a good amount of time helping the student understand that context so that when they come to the Reformation, they are ready and they are prepared. The other thing to mention, and this is where I think students will find the book quite appealing, is that not only does the book cover all the bases, it looks at the different pockets of the Reformation, Germany, Switzerland, as specific as Geneva, England, and, and so much more. But it also helps the student understand how these pockets are connected to one another. So that by the time you get to say, the Council of Trent, towards the end of the book, your students will understand not just what any individual reformer said, but they will understand how these pockets of the Reformation had certain differences with each other, but nonetheless certain continuity with one another as to the core of Reformation theology itself. And for that reason, I think your students will walk away not just with a better understanding of the Reformation and not just with a clearer understanding of its history, but they will actually walk away understanding what's the heart of the Reformation and how then does this significant period in time explain what came before and also project into the future to help us understand what comes next. One other significant facet of the Reformation as Renewal is this. This book does not just give you a history, a fresh history of the Reformers and their thought, especially in the context of the 16th century on the heels of the Middle Ages. But 
The book actually makes the voices of the reformers primary. In other words, I want your students to hear the reformers themselves. And so in each chapter, I make sure that the student comes face to face with the reformers so that they're actually hearing the arguments that the reformers made and they're understanding the context in which they made them. In my experience with my students, I have found this to be invaluable. And so I hope that you and your students will pick up this book, The Reformation as Renewal, will use it, and it will actually take the, your students deeper into the primary sources themselves, which you, as the expert, can be their guide along that journey. So I encourage you, as a professor, to consider this book, The Reformation as Renewal, Retrieving the One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, to consider this fresh history, adopting it as your textbook in your class, to help your students understand what the Reformation is all about and why this period of history is so important for us as Protestants.